I'm so excited to bring this video to you. This video is about Jane Eastwood. If you do not know who Jane Eastwood is, she is an iconic Canadian actor. She was in Godspell with Martin Short and Eugene Levy. She has been in Hallmark movies, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. When she came in to our gallery the very first time, um, it's really interesting. Some of our staff didn't know who she was, but some of our staff knew who she was so much that they phoned their mom to say, the waitress from Santa Claus is in the gallery. I met Jane at Value Village, which is a thrift store here in Southern Ontario. Actually, I think there's many across Canada. There might even be some in the States. But I saw her from across the room thrifting and I said to my daughter, Rachel, that is Jane Eastwood. And we Googled her, and sure enough, it was. So I meandered over to the coats where she was looking, and I said, Jane, Jane Eastwood? And she said yes, which must happen daily because she's iconic. Look up Jane Eastwood. You will know who she is. Anne of Green Gables. So many things. She said yes, and I said, I'm Julia Feenstra. We've met before. And I told her I had proof because I took a photograph of her when she was in my studio once on when I had a, a small studio space in on James Street in Hamilton. She came for an art crawl, and I took her photo, of course, because you have to put that on Facebook when, when the icon Jane Eastwood comes to your gallery. I told Jane that we had met and that I had proof because I had taken her picture when she visited me in my uh, studio on James Street during an art crawl many years before. And that perked up her, her ears, interestingly, because Jane is also an artist. That, that I didn't know. I just knew she was a, a wonderful actor, but I did not know she was an, a, um, an artist. And she said, really? I'm an artist too. And she had just taken a studio in Dundas, Ontario, and she had started off her career as a commercial artist and then she got into acting because she got invited to do a play and she got discovered and you know her career has been wonderful so why do commercial art so now that she is um she's not retired she's between engagements as she says she has picked up her art again and she has a gallery or slash studio in dundas ontario so I invited her to come to my cafe for coffee. She did. We bonded instantly. We had so much fun. The woman is hilarious. My husband said he doesn't actually think she acts. He thinks she's just Jane Eastwood in all of her movies. And she kind of agreed. She thought that was funny. So we met for coffee. We bonded. She loved the gallery. Then I went to her studio and visited her studio and looked at her work. And guys, it's wonderful. It's wonderful work. So we have become fast friends. We are bosom buddies. We pocket dial each other and laugh about it. And she and I planned to do a night at Crown and Press, my gallery, to do a live painting. Now, this was kind of fun because... Um, uh, Justin, who is our my gallery rep, and my other partner, they, they kind of knew who she was, but they didn't really know who she was. So we made an event bright, and I called the local news. And they love Jean Eastwood as much as me. So they said, yes, we'll come down. We'll come down and, and interview what's going to go on. So Jane came to the gallery on a Wednesday morning, and our local news came and interviewed her. And she said, I'm going to be painting... I'm going to be in a fashion show on March 16th with the boutique that is in the back of the gallery. And she, she and I just talked about meeting at Value Village, having so much fun thrifting and all the things in common, and that we are now, um, you know, bonded forever over art. And we put up an Eventbrite. The tickets were free, but we sold out in a couple of days after the event. Um, went on the news. We had so much fun at the gallery. So this footage is all footage that you, um, this footage is all footage about the evening. It was so busy that Kay, my videographer, could not even get, you know, any sound because it was, it was just so loud. And Jane, who was going to paint live with me, 
it was kind of like a receiving line of people who just wanted to talk to Jane. Um, what was super cute in, and what she's really well known for in the younger kids' ages is that she's the auntie on Paw Patrol. So they love her. They recognize her voice. One of them, one little girl came in with a, a Paw Patrol CD and asked her to sign it. She had fans from all over. She sold the original that she was working on. She sold a print that we had developed together and we just had a blast. We had wine, we had laughs. Um, people milled about, they looked at the art in the gallery, they looked at the clothes in the boutique. They had wine because we have happy hour now between seven and nine on Friday and Saturdays at the gallery. And we had the absolute best time. I don't know what to say other than how I am so appreciative. And Jane has said, because I got her some, uh, some of her works documented, I got them printed for her. I showed her how to do it. And she's like, oh my goodness, this is wonderful. I can't thank you enough. And I said, well, I think, I think by showing up at my gallery and having over a hundred people show up just to see you is thanks enough. You have given us, um, some really fun memories and some things to springboard. So the next event with Jane is March 16th and we are going to have a fashion show in the gallery and you can get tickets for that on my website. Those are $10, but um, you can get those through the Eventbrite on my website for crownandpress.com. Even though Jane didn't really get to paint herself, she's a pastel artist and that's what she brought. I did have a little bit of time to get to starting a four by four painting. I always started on red and I was able to chalk and ink in my drawing and get a few of my foundational strokes done in between talking to people because they, it was fun. They were here mostly to say, see Jane, but a few of them did talk to me <laughs> and that was really fun to have them there. And, um, it was a little distracting, I have to say, because I was really concentrating on making the image that I was painting even look good. So that was the ego in me. When I'm in my studio, anything goes at those first few stages, nobody's watching, but at the gallery, I felt a little bit exposed and a little bit, um, under some pressure to make it look good. So this footage shows you what I got done. There was wine involved. So just, you know, take it at that. We had a great time that night painting together, Jane and me. So I would invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be bringing you, Kay and me, we're going to be bringing you some really fun videos. Some of them are just going to be me videotaping my painting in studio and showing you how I do it. Some of it is going to be events at the gallery. Some of it is going to be basically just living artfully. So we invite you to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. And you know what? If you share this video and uh, leave some comments, it's really beneficial for the channel. It lets other people see Fun stuff like Jane. <laughs>